So lesson 23 is very similar to lesson 22. As a matter of fact, I believe it has the same objective. It says that we will divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors resulting in two and three digit quotients. And we're going to reason about the decomposition of the successive remainders in each place value. So the first thing I like to do with this is go ahead and round, and then we're going to use front end estimation. So we're going to round our divisor to 20, and we're going to say that this is around 8,000. If we divide by 10, we have 800 divided by 2. We know that that's 400. So the answer is going to be around 400. Remember, when we write it out as standard algorithm, our divisor goes first, and our dividend goes underneath the house there. So let's take a look. So we have 19 goes into 8 how many times? We know we can't do that. So we can say 19 goes into 82 how many times? Well, let's write our multiples. If you don't know your multiples at 19, you may decide to go with skip count by 20 since it was around 20. But I know that this is just going to be my multiples of 2 with a 0 on it. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That turns into two tens, four tens, six tens, eight tens, ten tens, and twelve tens. So I know that it's going to be around 80, so 19 would go into 82, one, two, three, four times, because 20 goes into 84 times. So let's put our four, four times 19, and we do our subtraction. We'll regroup, seven, 12, six, and I only have six remaining, so I didn't go over. Then I'm going to bring down my eight, then I'm going to say, well, how many times does 19 go into 68? I know that 19 times 4 was 76, so it should be 19 times 3. Let's see what 19 times 3 is. 19 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so I know that is 57. I'll do the subtraction, I get 11. Bring down my 3. 13. So this is where it may get a little bit tricky. So I know that if I was looking at 113 divided by 19, well, 20 goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 would be too much for 20, but it would be 5. So let's see how many times 5 times 19 is. 5 times 19. Well, I know 5 times 9 is 45. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 will be 9. So let's see. If I do the subtraction, it should leave me something less than my divisor. Let's see. That would become 10, 10 tens, and 13 ones. 13 minus 5 is 8. Then I have 10 tens minus 9 tens. It leaves me 110. I know that 18 is less than 19, so that would be my remainder. All right, let's take a look at B. So I have 1056 divided by 37. I'm going to skip the zero steps for my thousands and my hundreds. I know that 1,000 can't be divided by 37 without decomposing. I know that 10 hundreds can't be divided by 37 without decomposing. Now, if I have 105 tens, this is in the tens place, so 105 tens divided by 37, I can do. So let's take a look at that. Now 37, 37 times 2 would be... 74 times 3 would be 111. I know that that's going to be too much, so I'm going to say 111 would be too much, so it would be times 2. 2 is going to be my number. Let's put that in the tens place. And I say 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 3 tens is 6 tens plus 1 ten is 7 tens. Get rid of that. Now I have 1 remaining, 3, 31. So I can see that I can't pull another set of 37 out of that 31. So I'm going to bring down, and now I'm going to do the division again. I have 316, and I want to divide that by 37. So if I skip count down, I know that 316 would fall in between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 37 and 9 times 37. I know it's going to be 8 because 9 would be too much, so 8 is going to be my number. And I can check that by multiplying 8 times 37. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 5, 29. So I know it's 29 tens. And there we have it. 
I can see that I cannot get another group of 37 out of that. Now I'm going to do my subtraction. 6 minus 6 is 0. Regroup 2 hundreds, 11 tens, that's 9, 2, and 0. So now I have 28 with a remainder of 20. And of course, we didn't do our check for this. Let's backtrack and do our checks. To check, I will multiply 435 times 19. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 3 is 27. Plus 4, 31. Regroup. 9 times 4 is 36. Plus 3 is 39. Now, I know that since this is really a multiplying by 10, I'm just going to add my 0 and move everything over. 5, 3, 4. Add. Get rid of my regrouping. It's 5 plus 0. It's 5 plus 1. 9 plus 3. Regroup. 7 plus 1. Now I have to take that number and add my remainder, which was 18, and I should get... 5, 13, 6, 7, 8, 2, 8. My dividend's right there. So I know that that is correct. Let's go ahead and check this one out here, B. So we have 37 times 28. And I know that 7 times 8 is 56. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 5 is 29. 2 tens times 7 is 14 tens. 2 tens times 3 tens is 600 plus my 100 is 7. Add those two up. 6 plus my 20 that was remaining. 6 ones, 5 tens, 0 hundreds, and 1,000, which is my original dividend. Hopefully this helped. Please like and subscribe. Watch as many videos as you need to master the skills. That's what this is ultimately about. You mastering these skills so that you can do what I'm doing. And guess what? Hint, hint, soon you will be. As always, have a good day and thank you.